Hello everybody, RC here. We are back with a new Let's Play. Let me close up my M&Ms that I've been snacking on. Uh, so, Mist Survival. I have not played this game on channel in a while. Sorry about that. My cats were nosing around in it. Uh, but they've had a couple of uh, recent updates, so we're up to version 0.3.9.1. And uh, so last time I had played, I don't remember what number it was, but I was having major issues. Every time I'd get in the truck, the truck would flip over all the time. And uh, 100%, it got to where it was unplayable for me. So er, it is early access, so I don't get upset about that. The game has a lot of upside, a lot of potential. Um, the most recent two updates the big thing was completely revamped the entire game, the entire game. The whole map is completely different. Uh, there are new areas. There are some areas that look the same. There are some areas uh, like the, you remember the big farm area uh, off to the west, northwest side of the map near the mine. That is all completely changed. Um there's some new uh, new things added in, farming, farm plots. You can plant corn and tomatoes uh, as a food source, uh, things of that nature. So anyway, I have been playing on my own, but I really wanted to, you know, my, my channel philosophy is I play games for fun. And if I'm playing them, I just assume record them and share them with you guys. So... We are going to do that. So now that I've kind of gotten reused to the game, I hadn't played it in a little while, but I had been following along. And finally, after a couple of updates, I was like, I'm going to go back in, give it a try. So I've been playing it for a couple of weeks. Uh, so, you know, while I was on jury duty uh, and I wasn't able to have recording sessions, <clears throat> but I could get on and play, you know, 15, 20 minutes at night, you know, during the week I'd get on and play this. So anyway, let's get into it. The old save will be lost. That's too bad. That's too bad. I am reclining back in my chair a little bit just to be comfortable. So hopefully the looks like I'm in the picture. So if you're not familiar with this game, it is a uh, survival game. And right here at the beginning, it will give us kind of a beef, brief beef, a beef background. Um, no, that's the Slaughterhouse game. Uh, a brief background on the game itself. So we'll take a quick look at it. So three years ago, a mysterious thing happened. A mysterious mist covered many parts of the world. Many people got sick and died. Many of those who survived suffered changes. They became ferocious, turning vicious when touched by the fog, seeking fresh meat to feed upon. You're one of the few who is immune to the mist. You survived in a camp with other survivors before it was attacked by new creatures unlike any you had ever seen before. So... Let's kind of, this is all here. Oh, there's different ore types, how to get brass. Uh, I do want to go into the options and the audio uh, master volume. Let's turn that down. Music volume, I want to turn way down. Sound effects and voices will leave up. We'll see how that goes. All right, I am going to save. All right, so you start at any one of a number of these spawn points. And the big thing here, there are inventory upgrades. So you see we picked up two slots. And if we open up, you start with, what's that, 12 slots. So now we have 14. And we can unlock all of these by finding additional bags later in the game. I do want to pick up the saw and we will open this up and set this as so this is our base if we die during the game this is where we will come back to all right so we do have some fuel in there 
and I'm going to pull all that. Uh, I'm going to put my axe down here. I've got some uh, fuel, some matches. I've got a drink and some food, so I've got a little bit going on. Now, there is, uh, let's pause it for a second. So, in the game, you have uh, daytime, nighttime. At nighttime, zombies can come out. When a mist comes during the day, zombies can come out. Um, we're not prepared to fight them just yet. There are bandits. Uh, there are bandit camps. And the bandits don't typically roam. I have never seen them roaming. But the bandits do live in their camps. Uh, at some point, we will want to attack those camps because there are three NPCs that are being held prisoner at those camps. Um, and we can get them back to our base and do, do some work. So what we want to do here is just cut, because I don't know where I'm at. There is no in-game map. There is no in-game map. Uh, now, I have the, uh, let me show you what I've done here. So the display. Um, no. General. Controls. Key mapping. Graphics. I have the foliage to low. I'm going to, this is ultra. The problem with Ultra, it looks great, but it's hard to see anything. But I guess that's what makes it good, right? Yeah, so we'll go with Ultra. All right, I do see this area off in the, you know, in the nearby. And it looks like there's a truck over there, but I want to get over here. Now, unlike a game like, uh, ooh, let's grab that. These red things right there, those are very important. You want to get all of those that you can. Uh, just basically, you want to pick up anything and everything. Uh, there is a chocolate bar. Another lashing. All right. Oh, we got, oh my God, we have a shotgun that was up here. Yes. Thank you. So we're going to pull that out and we are going to load that sucker up. Now, ammunition is hard to come by. Uh, you, you do gain some uh, abilities later in the game to make. Uh, I wanted to see if there was another axe over here. There's not. Now, I can run. And you can see my stamina bar, but stamina is very important much later in the game. And you can see how hard things are to see on the ground. You almost have to walk right on top of it if it's in the grass, right? So, yeah, I don't know. I just, I'm going to turn that down a little bit. If you guys don't like that, let me know and I will, uh, I'm going to turn it to medium. Makes it a little bit easier, so like I can see that rock over there now. Uh, let's... Okay, we can destroy these. Let's see what we get. Some of these are, are static, which means you can't hit them. Oh, hello. Am I full? I am full. No. Um... Um... Crap. I'm going to eat a chocolate bar because I definitely want that. Those, these metal pieces and the red boxes are the most important things that you can find in the game, at least in the early going. And you can see how I'm hitting both of these at one time. That means it takes less hits on your axe. And if we look at my axe, we're down to 57%. So you do want to be careful of that, uh, overdoing it. We want to get a sledgehammer at some point. Uh, can I get up here? I can. There's nothing up here, nothing up there. So just like we found the, uh, the shotgun. Oh, you know what? Let me get back up here. I want to look around.
Okay, I don't particularly see anything else. So, uh, and I do need a lot of these sticks. The rocks I will wait on. Uh, feathers I will pick up. Leaves are important as well. But, um, all right, I do see something over there. I think that's that truck. Now, what we're also wanting to keep an eye out for out here is bears. Okay, I think I know roughly where I'm at. One of the guys that I watch his YouTube channel, uh, he stayed here last uh, in, in his current season. Now, he was having some issues. All right, there's a combat knife. Oh, no, but I do need that. So, you know what? Let's come up here. Let's go inside. I want that knife right now. All right, we do have a locker. So, we will open that. I have a knife in here. All right, let's store some tools, some scrap. We've got some odds and ends in there. I'm going to store my drink, the chocolate bar, the wood, the leaf, the matches, and that. And then we can drop that out and the lashings out, and that's okay. All right. Nothing over here. Now, what we have to be wary of, and I'm going to pause the game when we talk about stuff here in the early episodes, just in case it's something you are not aware of. So you see how we have this boarded up window, and then we have this solid window? So when a mist event comes and the zombies attack, for whatever reason, they cannot break through the glass. They cannot break through a solid window. On a boarded up window, however, they can break through that and then climb in the window to attack you. Now, there are some ways that we can defend against that, and we will do so. Uh, I want to get this knife while I was thinking about it. Uh, let me come around here. Now, the guy that I watched, and I don't mind telling you his name, it is uh, Game Edged. I uh, really like his channel. Uh, if you have not seen his stuff and you like survival games, uh, I highly recommend him. Uh, we'll pick up the blueberry. That's good. All right, so that's where we were just at. Oh, there's another uh, camp right over there. Awesome, awesome. We can break that apart again. I want to wait a little while. Oh, while we're here, we want to open this and we want to make this our active base. Now, I do want to recheck that here in a little while. All right, the rocks we're going to drop there. Uh, the knife we are going to keep down here. All right, I need, so if we go into our building and we go to our house, we can build these fences. So I need four sticks and two components, right? So I have four components currently. And I do have some sticks. So we are going to, oh, now this, this menu is opened up with your B key, B as in boy. And this menu is opened up with your I key. So I wanna make four sticks, cause that's all I have. I have four branches to make sticks. All right, now we can go to the build menu. And I may not be able to build this yet. I may need a hammer. It doesn't say I do. So I want to... lower that around. We're gonna rotate it. All right. Well, let's try to put it over here. Uh, 
I don't know where it's going. So let's go outside. And let's open that up again. See, it went up to the top there. All right, well, there it is. There it is right there. So we're going to start to build that. And that gives us protection right there. All right, so what I want to do now is I'm going to take out my axe. And we're going to chop down this tree. Now, again, every hit does damage your weapon. So it's better if you can find like those trees right there where they're side by side and you can hit two at a time. That's a good plan. But I just want some stuff right now so I can't be picky. And we chop the tree down and then we're going to chop the trunk. All right, and that's there. We're going to get all kind of goodies that we chopped up here with the tree. And another branch. All right. There we go. All right, so now I need to make four more sticks. And I want to get this done before mist comes. Okay, and now we want to build the house, one of these, another one of those. It's trying to get it, oh, there it is, right there. All right, so if we come inside, zombies cannot open the door. They will be able to break these, but they cannot break this window. So that one's boarded, that one's boarded, that's solid glass, that's solid glass, and that's solid glass. So right now we're protected from the zombies in the event that the mist comes out, right? So that's what we're worried about. Uh, I'm going to drop leaves. Uh, the sticks I'm going to drop out. We're going to put these in here, and I'm going to go ahead and eat those oh well let me plug my uh, headphones in here fellas bear with me charging battery that's nice all right so if we hit the tab button we'll see it's 11 o'clock in the morning uh, I am going these are water barrels these will come in handy much later oh hello there's another axe right there i didn't see it nice you got to check everywhere ladies and gentlemen boys and girls all right and let's drop this one right there all right so i wonder if i can climb up on there i can and then that would get me up on the roof so if you're if you are caught, how the hell do I get up into that room? How the hell do I get into that room? Oh, now I'm now I want to I have to get in there. That's awesome. We should be able to get into that room. Hello. Why can't I get in that room? There are there is another house just like this, but it has a stair on the back side. And that room is not closed off. It does not have a door or a window. It's open. So that just must be a structural thing. Uh, when you are falling like that, be very careful because you can sprain your ankle. And that can, uh, basically, you can no longer run. Uh, that is a bad thing. So you want to avoid that if at all possible. All right, we're going to drop this right there. Okay, I want, I do want to get back up there though. So you can actually get up here. They can't climb, so you could get up here and snipe at them, uh, you know, and hide. 
Um, but I want to see where I, oh, I know where I wanted to go. All right, we are off this direction. Now we do want to kind of save some of our, ooh, I do want that. And I do want that. And I do want to start, I do want branches. I need eight rocks. But that's where I want to get to over there. Now, pay attention to these signs as well. No climbing caution. All right, so there's a main road. That's important. But you want to look for your signs that show you where bears are. Because bears have territories that they roam around in, right? And bears will literally fuck you up. Oh, there is a bag. So if we look at our inventory, we have 12. We'll upgrade that. We picked up two more slots. Awesome. So the good news is now we can carry two more things. So check everywhere. All right. These bottles will come in handy. Rags will come in handy. At some point, you may not need everything, but in the early going, you'll want everything. Uh, let's see. These wood piles sometimes have... Okay, don't see anything up there. All right, there is some rifle ammo. We do not have a rifle yet. nothing here wait another bottle those bottles we will use oh there's some metal nice there's some metal so these cars with the grayed out windows like this these are static cars now some of them you can hit and break up they will give you metal they will give you components that's the red things that are very important um, but you can see how many hits it takes with our axe. With a sledgehammer, it takes like four. So much better. And while you're doing this, just kind of keep an eye in the distance for the mist to come in or listen for the sounds of bears. All right. And that one flew over here. That one flew over here. Just kind of look around because some stuff does fly. All right. Um, there's another metal over here. There's a lashing. Nothing up here. All right. See how that one didn't have a white line on it? Those are permanent. You can't destroy those. So nothing good comes from that. Okay, a couple of tomato sauce cans. All right, let's get up here. Don't see anything up there. Oh, there's another ax on this wood pile. Good. Uh, more scrap. All right, and we are actually full. So the road is right there. We came from this direction right by this do not climb it is very easy to get lost so just be wary oh, oh i can't carry that another hard stick rocks branches rocks you can these a lot of these things will stack up so they'll stack up as many as eight so you know don't be afraid if you do start picking stuff up to get your whole allotment all right well that's good let's go ahead and put this stuff away uh, what was that thought I saw something right over here all right well 
let's get inside all right do I let's let's drop the rocks I've got the sticks here leaves I'm gonna take this to put the metal and I want that I'm gonna drop the lashings I'm gonna drop that I'm gonna drop the bottles I'm gonna drop the I'm gonna put the extra axe in here and then I'm gonna drop the wood now eventually I do want you know I want to organize this I don't think this stuff despawns okay but what I want to build now is a weapon I want to build a spear so this takes a hard stick and you need a knife to sharpen it up so if it's in the left side these items will be used up if it's in the right side these are the items that you have to have in your inventory uh, equipped so I've got my knife there I want to make two of these and it took me 30 minutes to do that so we've got working the time is running while it's happening I'm gonna put one of these into my slot there I'm gonna keep one up here I'm gonna drop that stick uh, Oh, I've got two more metal there we'll put in. I am hungry and thirsty, so let's go ahead and eat that other chocolate bar. And I'm going to save the Coke for later. I have this fruit which does hunger and thirst. Um, I'm going to pop that in there. Actually, you know what? Let's drop these on the floor. And I'm at 39%. I'm not going to need that axe anytime soon. So we've got a couple of axes. We've got a saw. We've got another knife. That knife's at 100%. So let's take that knife with us. All right. Um, I don't need the sewing kits and i don't have rifle ammo so we're going to leave that on the floor all right it is 12:55 so night time the the mist will normally come mid afternoon there it is right there a branch awesome i knew there was something right there okay let's the mist will normally normally come mid afternoon time and then from there uh nighttime is about 7 30 so that's how you kind of judge your day all right i want i want to come this way let's run straight up this should get me all right there's the road now i believe no, that's the gas station. I actually do want to go there. Okay, I know where I'm at. This is the good part about having played the game a little bit. All right, now see, this is where you want to be very careful because if you fall off too far, uh, you, you can hurt your ankle. So you want to kind of take your time. You want to look for the gentlest slopes down. <laughs> All right, so there's a gas station here. There's a building there. All right, now going up that way, there is a motel on the right, another gas station. There is a bear in that area. In fact, that sign we're looking at right there, that white triangle sign just to the left of that tree in the distance, I believe that tells us there's a bear. All right, so first thing I want to do is you, I want to check the trunks of these cars. Okay, now, did you see we got an armor vest? We're going to equip that. If we look under equipment, now we've got some protection. We picked up a bottle of booze. All right. You look inside. Sometimes you'll find a Coke. And this has a little bit of gas, but there's no engine components, which is okay. This one doesn't have any gas or engine components. But you can use these to store stuff in. So this would make like a good, good locker if we brought it to our house. So that's something we will do eventually. And you see the mist starting to come in a little bit. So we actually want to, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and gather some stuff. 
There's no door here, right? And you have a few minutes. You'll hear the sound change. Okay, not quite. Okay, I'm pushing it. I'm going to get in the car. And so because I don't have the weapons or I'm not in a place that I can defend myself because they can't open doors, but they can walk in open doors, they will not bother us in a car. Now, I'm not going to make you guys watch this part because it's just basically sitting here for a couple of hours. Um, if we could get up on the roof, we could sleep up there, but there's no way to get up there. And I don't want to risk running back home because then I'm caught out in the open. Um, so I will see you guys after the mist event. And eventually, at some point, we will start fighting these guys. I'm not great at that. So... <laughs> That'll be an adventure in and of itself. Uh, we're at 31 minutes, so I'm going to put a cut here. We come back next episode. We will pick up. Uh, I will finish looting this building. We'll look around some more. Uh, I want to go to the building farther down the road, and I want to go up to the garage farther up the road as well. Um, but, you know, we want to start trying to get car parts, uh, engine parts, tires. Uh, it takes four tires a battery, a set of spark plugs, and an engine to make a vehicle drivable. So once we're drivable, then we become mobile. We can start carrying things, uh, and we can start doing a little bit more exploring. We can get more storage, especially once we get the pickup truck. So we need to find a gas can as well. So here in the early going, you're on foot. You're trying to find you know, the bare stuff. We've done the bare minimum now. We've got a house. We've set up a base. We've blockaded our windows. So we could actually hole up inside or on the roof, uh, how I showed you guys to get up on the roof, if we wanted to. But right now I'm caught out in the open. Uh, but you can hear the wind still blowing. It's when that gets silent and you start having the ominous music that's when the zombies will come out. Again, not going to make you wait on that. So hit the like button, subscribe. Let me got, know what you think about the game if you've played it before. If you haven't played it before, I hope uh, you enjoyed this and want to see more. Smack the like button. That's how I tell if you want to see more. Comment away. Uh, also is how I know you're interested. And we'll see you next time. Have a good one, guys. Bye.